and welcome back guys. This is the start of a new recording session. It is about 7 a.m. And I know that there's a, I guess, cow in a rolling game that you don't date your videos. But I'm going to date my videos anyway because, well, it, it's with the things I talk about and I'm planning on talking about, it automatically dates the videos. Before we get really started, I just want to do a quick, um, I want to tell you about this poll that came out that I saw this morning on Yahoo News. It was a Fox poll, so take it with a grain of salt because as any reasonable person should know, Fox News lies. Now, I don't know if this is a cardinal rule or not, but I know the Rad Rad almost never does it. And uh, like I said, he's really the only game person I watch. Don't get into politics. If you get into politics, you seem to automatically um, risk losing half of people who might become your fan base due to the common theory that half the country is Republican, half of it is Democratic. And I guess a third, and maybe even another third of your fan base who live outside the country and just to give a damn about American politics. And I feel for them. And I know I would be annoyed if I lived, I don't know, in another country and all they hear about was American politics. Along with, I guess, their own politics. But, look, I'm going to talk about politics. I'm sorry for the fans here. But I'm going to do it. And if you don't like it, I guess don't watch. If you want, you can downrate that. But it's what, I, it's what I'm going to do. So a Fox poll came out. According to the poll, and like I said, take with the green side, I know I certainly do because I find this just unacceptable. Um, poll respondents, 53% of them wanted to kick California out of the union. This was a poll done about succession of states. So 53% of poll respondents said they wanted to kick California out of the union. Now do I love California? No, I don't. If I was going to move, when I'm going to move, it's not going to be to California. It's going to be to a... See, California is a democratic state. California is, in theory, a labor state, but they sort of don't have legalized marijuana for recreational use. You have to pretend it's for medicinal use. Which, you know, any reasonable person so they have to do. And in states like Colorado and Washington, they do have it legal for recreational use. But, they, I don't know about Washington as much, but Colorado is a state where they have very liberal areas, like Danville, with environmental friendly, as liberal as you can get, which appeals to Chocolate me because... Chocolate are really good when you're low on stamina. Which is good for me because I'm labor procrastinate. If I have a labor, you're going to pay them it. Um, maybe even socialist. I'll, I'll go that far. Um, so, but, but they also, Colorado, have, I don't remember the name of the area, but they also have very conservative areas with the air, with the air, with an air force base, with some, not case Christi, Christian group, I don't think it's focused on the family, but one of those far right social crusader Christian groups who is sick in, who sort of like an alpha human being who walks on the bloody earth. Um, so, <laughs> so, so they have that along with the labor areas. So, I mean, plus they have a sonic election this year. Again, dating my videos along with talking about politics, breaking root two rules at the same time. The sign elections against uh, Mark Udall, Democrat, versus um, Republican, Corey, Adam. I, I, I was going to say Corey Booker, but I know that's not right. He's the Democratic senator from um, New Jersey. Ah. Uh, Cory Gardner, that's it. Um, so, and the pro and the thing is, that race, for some reason, is close. 
which is one reason why, as much as I like, what I know about San Pedro, Colorado, I currently live in Indiana. If you don't know, Indiana would vote for Hitler or for a Democrat, as far as I'm concerned. And as far as I'm concerned, we are in my wall house. Oh, look, I'm breaking the thought, la, and Godwin's la. Because we have Mike Pants as governor, one of the, as far as I'm concerned, most big the governors in the country. Well, maybe with the exception of Sam Brownback, but you, you almost can't beat him. And Rick's in him if he was actually a governor or something. So, but yeah, we don't elect Democrats. I'll, I'm in this election, election coming up. They're all about, I think, 12 races on the ballot that will be 14 on. Five, only five of them have opponents. Only five of them are contested. Which is, you know, pretty much how the district works. On the very small district, county levels, there are no Democrats running for anything. Except for one Democrat running for a county council seat. Who I know nothing about. And my thing is, I don't like voting for people I know nothing about just because they hate, because they're Democrats. I voted for Libertarians before because the Democrats sucked. In this, in the state of Indiana, the Democratic Senate nominee in 2012 was George Donnelly. His Republican opponent, Richard Mordock, beat out um, Richard Lugie in a primary. Richard Lugie is, has been considered a moderate Republican and so for, I want to say six terms? That might not be right, it might just be four. Regardless, he was high up in seniority um, in the Senate, or at least high up. He was well respected by the Democrats, and in 2006, the last time Lugo ran, he um, had no Republican primary opponents. Well, okay, Igno actually, that might be wrong. He had no Democratic general election opponents. The only opponent he had was a Republican. I'm sorry, he was a libertarian whose name I can't remember right now but he's a perennial candidate who runs in any election he can get his hands in any India and I don't blame him I think third party should run I'll tell you right now if the Green Party of Indiana had an actual force and got on the bad I'd vote for them and I almost never vote for the Democrat the Democrat for Congress right now um, I don't remember his name it's Justin something who's running against our idiot incumbent Molin Stutzman um he is pro-life Joe Donnelly as I was getting to worst Democrat after the only Democratic position he holds is he supports um what is generally called Obamacare which is already a corporatist giveaway to health insurance companies and not all a real labor policy. A labor policy would be single payer health care for all, mother care for all. That would be labor. That's what almost every other civilized country in the bloody world has. But no, because it's evil socialism, socialism we can tackle in this country. So Joe Donnelly, pro-life, opposes most forms of gun control. Of course, almost like all the other Democrats, a bit to Israel, which gets on my nerves because, well, I do not actively oppose the Israeli state. I don't think it should have American support, especially when they commit genocide on the Palestinians. Oh, and I know, I'll get these anti-Semitic claims because I say that Israel might as well be ha have become the Nazis, but it's true, and if you don't like it, don't watch. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in a second. I'll go and actually, I'll give myself three more minutes, and then I'll go. But Joe Donnelly was Democrat after, um, the guy running for Congress. To be fair, there is a libertarian running, but he's also pro-life. You see, for the governor election in, in the in Indiana in 2012, Mike Pence won with about 49%. His Democratic opponent, John Gray, got 46%. I did it for, for the Democrat. I fought for the Libertarian. The Libertarian is Rupert Bornham. I think that's how pronounce his last name. The guy from Survivor. Um, he ran as a Libertarian, but he was reasonable. He was pro-choice. He wanted to keep a bush that actually illegal. Now, to be fair, I don't know if the Democratic pro-life position 
exchange to them actually wanting to make a push in the league or if it's like a um a Joe Biden thing where he opposes the morality of abortion but so wants it to be legal. So that might be true, but I would so much rather vote for a Democrat who's pro choice and just says no, I don't think abortion's wrong, then the Democrat who's pro life. Now, getting back to this poll. 53% supposedly of the poor respondents wanted to vote California out of the union. I'm not a big fan of California, but it's a hell of a battle state in a lot I could name. Taxes I'm looking at you, although taxes, to be fair, has Austin. From what I can tell, Austin, most reasonable place on the bloody planet. Um, besides Austin, we can, if, you, if we're throwing states out of the union, we can throw taxes out and keep Austin. Um, make it like a little Vatican in the middle, make it its own separate country, or, ma or make it part of this one, I don't know how that would work. Of course, there was Republicans who, um, for, for poor respondents, 21% of Republicans were, were likely to fought, want to um, kick his head out of the Union, only 13% of Democrats, that's a surprise, literally no one. As for the own state, 12% of Republicans wanted to kick um, wanted the own states to succeed from the union. Okay. 13% of independents, which is one reason I don't like independents. Which is fine because I might actually consider myself an independent. Even though I usually fight democratic, but as I fought libertarian. But an independent to me, a self-proclaimed independent who goes around is carrying both political parties, to me seems like the type of person who when a January election comes up for president or for any office or well, always for the opposite of who the current president is in, in the 2000s or independence hated boss almost half of it hated boss near the end I think he got like a 30% approval rate already you know, 20% he got damn low which is good because he was an idiot a warmongering fool who called countless of lies just for um Get the political for the gain of money of his vice president. Um, let's see. So I don't much care, but I don't much care for independence. I really don't. Okay, but but down only four percent of Democrats would want their own state to succeed, which is the reasonable option. So it makes sense that Democrats would support that. They are always reasonable. Political parties in this country are always reasonable, but when they are, they're usually the Democratic Party. The Green Party, though almost always more reasonable than the Democratic Party. And half the time the Libertarian Party is reasonable. Half the time. Oh. And 23% of the Tea Party said they wanted the own state to succeed from the Union. But, and the thing about this, the Tea Party are the ones who claim to be the Patriots, who claim to be the true Americans. And yet, they want those states to succeed from America. Now, to be fair, they wouldn't be actually succeeding from America. They'd be succeeding from the United States. America, in real terms, actually, as far as I'm concerned, means both all of North and South America. So technically, they wouldn't be succeeding from that. But they would be succeeding from the United States when they claim to be the most patriotic citizens. I call them. I don't. I. I would call them traitors, although they don't take it up arms against the country. And to be fair. I'm not so, um, like, th this country is in bad ways, the control of this, and uh, us strong progressives actually agree on that, the country's not doing very well, we just disagree on why, though wrong on why, and the progressives, the reasonable people in the country, are right, so, that's it, I'm sorry for doing this again, I'm going to stop the video now, when we get back, I'll actually fucking play. I just wanted to get this poll out of the way because I found it amusing. And also, I'm probably going to go get coffee. So, I'll be back in a second.